Thank you very much for coming out to uh, our press conference, uh, naming our new head coach, general manager. For the Raven Red Wings, it's been quite an exciting summer. Generally, we have a bit more time off, but with having to find a new office manager and then a new head coach, after the, the Blades took our two top guys, it made for quite an exciting summer. Uh, very exciting process. We had a lot of very good candidates that came up. Uh, we went through the process, uh, shortlisted the names, and at the end of the day, the guys that we selected were the guys we had right at home. I'd like to introduce our new head coach, Gen uh, Weber Nervings, Wes Rudy, and our general manager, Tanner McCall, general manager and head scout. Any questions of the guys? Perfect. <laughs> I got one First pro press conference, not sure what uh, we should be doing after this. Congratulations. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Uh, question for Wes. Uh, what's it going to be like stepping into the new role, going from assistant to head coach? Uh, it, it'll, be, it'll be challenging to start with, for sure. Stephen, um, I think uh, Bryce left us in really good shape. and. Uh, It'll help the transition for sure. Um, I wouldn't have done this without Tanner. Um, so he, he knows he knows the player end of it and the recruiting end of it and, and uh, does a phenomenal job at that. So that was key in, in my decision. Um, but just working with Bryce last year just let an immense amount. And uh, I feel completely confident going in. And for you, Tanner, same thing. What's it going to be like uh, stepping into a, a GM role? Well, obviously, there's going to be a little more pressure than what I've been dealing with in the past. I've kind of been, uh, you know, backstage. I've been doing lots of work, recruiting players, scouting players, all that kind of stuff. It was two years ago that I was on the bench also, so I know lots of these boys. Um, like Wes said, we're real comfortable with what we have coming back for players. Rice has left us in an outstanding place right now. The list is strong, the roster is strong. There's going to be some competition in camp, and we're really looking forward to seeing uh, who's going to make the team this year. Um, in terms for an assistant, uh, any decisions yet on that, or Tanner, are you going to be stepping into that role for the time being? Well, obviously we're going to be looking for an assistant. We've got a pretty tight time frame here. We're going to be reaching out to guys. Um, I'm not sure if we're going to be posting. You know, we're searching for applications. Obviously things are going to happen pretty fast, so it's going to have to start progressing. We're going to have to be reaching out to guys. Uh, maybe, you know, if people are interested out there, definitely reach out. My email address is posted on the website and get a hold of me and got to make a decision and we'll find a qualified guy here in the next couple of weeks. Uh, and for you, Wes, uh, a quarter of all the head coaches in the SJHL this season are going to be brand new head coaches. Do um, you think that's going to kind of make things a little bit more interesting for the league as a whole? Well, I, I think it's good for the league because if you look at, uh, you know, in North Battleford and Weyburn with coaches uh, excelling and moving on, um, it just shows the quality of people that are, that are doing this job in the SJHL and, and I think it's good. Uh, um, just you know, bringing in young blood and, and new ideas in different ways and different techniques is never bad. So, um, and that that being said, there's some great uh, some great coaches that have been around for a long time in this league, and, and uh, guys like me that are new, and, and the younger guys that are coming in that are new, we'll, we'll learn from those guys too. So, um, I I think it's good for the league. I mean, change is not a bad thing. All the time. Why is this important for you and Waver? Well, I've been in Weyburn a long time, as people know. I, I, I moved here in 98. My, my brother played on, uh, on the Centennial Cup Championship team, so I've been a Red Wing fan for my whole life. So I guess that's what uh, makes today humbling and special. Well, for me personally, my family's from Southern Saskatchewan, so since I was just a wee little hockey fan, I knew all about what it was what it was like in Weyburn to be a junior hockey player. Obviously, I got to play in town here, played a couple seasons. I've coached, I've scouted, I've recruited, I've lived in the community. You know, I got a pretty good handle. We both do how things go in Weyburn, and we're really excited to give back to the program that's given so much to us. Well, thanks everybody for coming out. Uh, it, it shows support for me and Tanner, and we greatly appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you.